Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to another Kindred Stamps design team video. Today I'm going to be using some stencils, some Kindred Stamp stencils, to create a foil background for a couple cards. You saw them in the picture, so I'm using Demon Hunters in this video and then I'll also show you the one that I made using Plumber Brothers too. If you're looking for a really good universal stencil, this is just a really fun one that can go with many different styles of stamps. So how this all works is that you actually use the transfer gel from Decofoil over the top of the stencil like you would with embossing paste or glitter paste or anything like that. And then you have to let that gel dry. I've taken a piece of Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock and I'm going to place the stencil over the top and then I'm gonna use my palette knife to thin out that gel over the stencil. So I heard somebody once describe this as trying to frost a cake, which I think is pretty accurate. This wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be, but my second one did turn out a little bit better. And the only thing is, is that the more kind of bumpy or textured it is, the more distressed the foil will be. So you'll get some splotches here and there, which actually for these cards, I didn't mind it actually. I think it looks pretty cool that way. But if you're looking for a really nice solid transfer of the foil onto that transfer gel, you have to have a smooth layer of that gel. So the directions on the container of the transfer gel does say that it needs to sit for one hour to dry. It'll dry clear instead of this white. And that's how you kind of know it's dry. Mine, I think, did take a little bit longer than that just because I had more um, thicker splotches here and there. So this is what the transfer gel on that fog cardstock looks like when it's dry. I'm going to use a little sandwich here consisting of a piece of parchment paper folded in half just enough to where it will close over my foil piece like a book. And then I have a piece of copy paper behind that just for a little stability. I'm going to run it through my laminator. I have a purple cow. I don't really use it a whole lot. I don't know how it compares to other laminators or anything, but it seems to work just fine for transferring this foil. You can see the texture of the transfer gel through it, but I still think it looks really cool. I'm using the tide pool one and uh, I really like the way that it looks like an oil spill. I'm going to darken up the cardstock a little bit with some Distress Oxide and Black Soot using one of these blending brushes. I went ahead and I stamped the car from Demon Hunters out onto a piece of 80 pound Nina cardstock using some Gina K Amalgam ink. That's my go-to for Copics. So I'm going to speed it up quite a bit. So I wanted it to be kind of uh, like a highly reflective coloring. So I started with the darkest colors first. I'm using a lot of cool grays and then some warm grays. And I'm just going to make my way down to the lightest color and then go back to the darkest colors and work my way back through all of those again, adding in more of the warm gray a little bit later. So I did cut down the foiled piece with a die so it is matted onto a piece of Simon Says Stamp Ultraviolet cardstock. And I'm going to take the leftover of that die cut and it's basically just a really cool frame and I'm going to put that in the inside. If I have a good piece like that that's left over, I like to try to use it somehow so it doesn't go to waste. I heat setted the sentiment with some white embossing powder on black cardstock and then layered some black foam to give it dimension. I'm going to attach that to the card over the top of the foil right in the center area and then add the car to the top of that right above the sentiment. Now I just let it sit and dry for a moment. I'm going to show you both cards that I made up close using the transfer gel with foil and the Kindred Stamps stencil. The one I made using the Plumber Brothers set, that gold foil, is on the right hand side. 
So both cards I did use the same stencil, the swirl stencil from Kindred Stamps, but by switching up the foils and the stamp sets that I use with those really changed up the style of that stencil. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just another way to use those stencils that we are all stashing away. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Meh, meh.